Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, it's Chef Steph time. Chef Steph fucking freaking time, baby. To bring you guys a video, I made a post on Twitter, aka X, whatever you want to call it, on a next video you guys want to see. So the option was either how I will book Bianca betraying Jay Cargill, her partner, or Rhea Ripley's return from injury. And you guys all voted for Rhea Ripley's return video. So I'm going to give you my two options that I think Rhea Ripley should return back to the WWE. All I'm going to say is, we all miss you, all right? Everyone misses you. So like, if, when she comes back, it's going to be a huge freaking pop. It's going to be the most craziest pop we have heard in a while. So, yeah. So let's get started. All right. So the first, first little option, okay? Number one freaking option right here we have is this is going to make a lot of Liv Morgan fans pissed off. And I apologize. I'm not trying to piss you guys off, but I do apologize. I'm going to say Liv Morgan does not need to win the title at the King and Queen PLE this weekend. I repeat, she does not need to win right now. Reason why I say that, because her heel character needs more. When someone says to someone, all right, someone says, I'm gonna take everything that is yours, everything. That should be the number one thing, work on that heel side. Another thing is as soon as you mention, oh, this is a revenge tour because this person took me out for whatever how many months is, there that's how you grow the character. Because right now, neutral. I'm not trying to be mean. Neutral. I need more heat towards Liv Morgan that will make her a number one heel in the WWE right now because right now the number one here right now to say the least for the women that I think I want to include this faction but if I do include this faction damage control number one heel another one Nia Jax if one of them were to be up there fix his revenge tour freaking character because right now neutral neutral work on her promos because her promos does not even sound heel worthy just saying so, again, she doesn't need to win the title right now. I can see her winning the title at the next pay-per-view, Clash of the Clans, or a Money in the Bank, okay? Out of those two, just not just not, not this weekend. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it this weekend, let find her way to cheat, her way to win. That's like a very dirty freaking way for her to win for the fans to even like, hit her at the heel. Cause right now, neutral. But anyhow, enough of that. So, let's just say Liv Morgan wins it at, I'm going to say Money in the Bank, okay? Because there's rumors that Rhea Ripley's coming during SummerSlam, so if she's coming to SummerSlam, this is how I'm going to book it, alright? So Liv Morgan wins it at Money in the Bank, so she is the new Women's World Champion. She goes to Money Night Raw, come, like, talk, and be like, see guys, I told you, my revenge is none of that, like, no one's going to stop me, I'm unstoppable. And I did everything that I wanted to do. And that is take everything from Rhea. Not technically everything. That's if 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 they go on with the whole Judgment Day thing and bring Judgment Day along, then that's when the revenge tour starts heating up. Which again, if you haven't watched how I book Rhea Ripley and the Lil Morgan's feud, go make sure you guys check that out. But so she's a world champion. She goes into a feud with a brand new feud because she's kind of feuding with this person a little bit because they're kind of friends with Becky Lynch and that's Lyra Vicaria. So she goes in the feud with Lyra at SummerSlam, okay? As much as I want Lyra to win, as much as I want Lyra to freaking win, I know it's not going to happen because it's too early for Lyra to win a title, okay? World title. So Liv Morgan retains at SummerSlam, okay? She return, She retains it. She's celebrating. She's like, okay, one, no one still didn't like kick out of my freaking finisher, which that's absolutely false. 
time I did actually kick out her finisher, but I'm not going to get into that. So she's like, I'm still on top. I'm still the number one woman in the women's division. Vance is option one. Rhea Ripley's song hits. The song, just the part, this is my brutality. Everyone's freaking out. They're like, holy crap, she's here. Everyone's like looking at the ramp. Liv Morgan's like looking at the ramp. But here's the thing. Rhea doesn't come to the ramp. Rhea Ripley comes from the, from the crowd. She's behind Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan does not even know. The fans are crazy. They're screaming like, oh my god. Even the comment is like, oh my god. She's here. That's all they're going to say. They're not going to say who it is. She's here. Liv Morgan turns around. Sees Rhea Ripley. She looks she sees, look like she sees a ghost. She's like, oh my god. And she's back. Rhea Ripley's going to do the her wave. Headbutts her. Grabs the title. Looks at her. Holds her a kiss. The show ends right there. That's that's option one. That's option one. How you make her return? Play her song. Don't let her come to the ramp. Let her come from behind and just like headbutt her. Option one. Now I'm gonna give you guys option two in a second. All right. This is how I'll book Rhea Ripley's return. So if you remember what I said the first one, um, they play the music, but she just comes. She just comes to the ramp. She's right behind Liv Morgan. Headbutt her. Because of the, the the title, looks at her, blows her kiss. And second option is the music doesn't even play. Okay, it doesn't even play. So if you guys remember when she first joined the Judgment Day and she helped Edge win against AJ Styles, she came out of nowhere. She was just covered, like you couldn't see the person's face. Helps Edge win against AJ, and then it herself is very Ripley. They do exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing, but this time, comes out of the ring, comes out of the freaking audience, comes inside, turns Liv Morgan around, turns Liv Morgan around, headbutts her, Liv Morgan falls to the ground, she grabs the title, taps the injured shoulder, the one that Liv Morgan injured, shoulder on healed, taps it, one, two, three. Fans are like, why is this person tapping their shoulder? Who the heck is this person? They re they reveal themselves. The comments are like, oh my god, it's Rhea Ripley. She's back. She's back from injury. She's been out for this month. Da, 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 da. She bends down, looks at Liv Morgan, and says, mommy is always on top. Put the title down, gets up. And just makes the fans go crazy. It's, dude, I, I, I don't know what they, she does. So she does something. Fans go crazy. Fans are like, holy crap, she's back. That's how, you, that, that's how you book it. That's how you book that. Just let her come from the ring. Let her come from the audience. Headbutts freaking lip working. Grabs a tile. Bends down. Like, but, like, before she bend, like, before she bends down, she puts the title up. Taps the shoulder. One, two, three. Reveals herself as Rhea Ripley bends down, looks at Liv Morgan, said, "Mommy's always on top." Put that on her, on on her, and just just makes and roar, just makes the freaking fans go freaking crazy. That's how you book it. Either one, like I said, option one. Either option one. Play her song, but don't let her come to the ramp. Let her be behind Liv Morgan. Let her wave. Do like a little, 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 little look. It's like, hi, I'm back. Like, it's the same thing. She just waved. Like, I'm back. And the comments are like, holy crap. She's here. She's back. Rare Ripley. She's back. Boom. She headbutts her. Grabs the title. Looks at her. Goes her a kiss. Boom. That's option one. Or option two. She comes from the, she comes from the audience. Full on mask does do no no one who knows who it is turns around head butts her grabs the title taps the shoulder three times one two three like she's pinning somebody reveals to herself rare ripley the, again commentators like holy crap rare ripley's back holy crap it's happening she bends down looks at lip morgan saying mom is always on top put the title back boom but this only can happen if you make the women's the main event. I know 
Logan Paul. It's like I know it's like in Cleveland at right now, but I'm saying this right now. If you don't make the women's match a main event, people are gonna forget the rest of the matches throughout the night. Because that's how big of a pop Rhea Ripley's going to freaking have. I am not even joking you. That's how big a pop Rhea Ripley's going to have. If you put the women's match in the mid card, in the middle, everyone's going to forget about, forget about the main event. I, I'm saying this right now. They're going to forget. So this is the only, if this only can work is they put it as a main event or the second to last match so it's gonna be main event but make it the second to last match then when the main event comes they'll be like oh okay now they can like calm down a little bit and they can like relax and get ready for the main event wherever the main event is that's how you book it that's how you book it guys but anyhow drop a like subscribe and I catch you guys in the next one all right peace out